What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to go over another buying strategy for Profit Trailer and PT Feeder. So I did a EMA spread video. So if you wanna know how the EMA spreads work, go check out that video. I do sort of an in-depth charting video on that. Today I'm gonna to go over low Bollinger Band buying strategy and the freaking crypto gnome throws out a video right before I do this uh, this video. So shout out to that guy. He does some really good, good videos on profit trailer stuff, different settings, different feeder settings. So if you like this content, I don't even know the guy, but um, I recommend going and checking out his channel to kind of cross-reference our thoughts because he threw out the EMA spread video right before I did. And then I just got an update that he threw out this, um, <laughs> the low BB one. So I'm literally a couple hours behind, but whatever. So we'll, I'll just give you guys my thoughts on this strategy. So buy as soon as the current price goes below the low Bollinger Band line that you specify. So the Bollinger Band values are percentages of the Bollinger Band width. The BB width is equal to the high BB minus the low BB. So then it gets into some math and this is where most people will end up losing me and they start asking questions. How does this work? So basically I'm gonna chart it for you and explain, but what this is referring to buy as soon as the current price goes below the low BB line you specify. If you go into your indicators text file in, if you're in PT feeder, this is in your config folder um, and you have one of these indicator text files in each of your market strategies. So the super bear, the bear, the boring, the bull and the super bowl, you have an indicator text and they can vary between your folders. So you get to specify the Bollinger band that you want to use. And basically I will chart this for you and explain what this is. So this is in seconds, 1800 seconds is equal to 30 minutes. So that's your candle, your candle length. And then this is your um, simple moving average of 20. And this is that charted. So, Basically, if you want to get here, you'll just go into indicators and type in Bollinger Bands. You'll click Bollinger Band, and I have three of them now. But you go into settings, and you can adjust this however you want, right? And you can see that as I adjust it, the band is getting smaller or larger in certain areas. So this is length of 35. Um, ours is set to 20, so I already have a 20 set, so I'll delete that one. And then this is your seconds. So this is equivalent to your candle length. So you can go up here and you can determine how, basically what time frame you want the bot to be looking at. And for some reason with low BB, I see a lot of people using 30 minute, 45 minute, one hour, a um, little bit longer term candles than they do with the EMA spreads. And I kind of like this strategy for more of a, a kind of a set and forget. And especially in a sideways market or, um, you know, a somewhat bullish market, I guess you could say you, you can definitely see some really good profits with this strategy. So basically what's happening is you're going to go into your app settings folder and this is in PT feeder. So if you don't have feeder, I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look at the uh, all buy value and then you'll have to look at the trailing buy. Um, this is DCA trailing buy. Where is, where is it? Max trailing buy. So right here. These are the two settings you'd be looking at if you don't have feeder. But basically you have a, a buy value of negative 1.5 and that's what I'm using right now. And basically what you're telling your bot to do is when the candle goes beneath the low Bollinger Band, which is this red line. This is a low Bollinger Band, this is your simple moving average, and this is your high Bollinger Band. And so you're telling your bot to start trailing this crypto once it gets below this line by 1.5%, so roughly right there. And then you're telling the bot to trail this crypto for max trailing buys, 0.15%. So basically what that means is you're telling the bot to continue following this crypto down as low as it goes until it rebounds in the upward direction by 0.15%. So basically it would stop here and this candle would start and it would go up by 0.15% 
if I can get there, somewhere right in there, and then you would buy it right about here. Your bot would purchase, okay? And now you have this candle all the way up to the top of this candle, and if you're using a gain strategy to sell, then your bot would be holding on to this all the way to the top of this candle, which is about 3% gain, and then it would sell. And it would generally, well, it, necess it wouldn't necessarily sell right here. It might carry over into this next candle and then this next candle diminishes quite a bit. So that's what your, your, your gain, your selling strategy would have to determine. But basically that's, that's how this strategy works is once it goes below this low Bollinger band, your bot is going to start trailing it. Then whatever you set this max trailing buy to, that's when it's going to look to purchase. And once it purchases, then it's all on your selling strategy. So I kind of went over that in the EMA, um, in the EMA spread video, but there's a couple different selling strategies. You can even sell on the high BB line. So if you had high BB sell, um, it wouldn't even get close to the high BB line until up in here. And you can set the, the percentage of where you want it to sell on the high BB line. So, depending on your settings and how conservative or aggressive they are. If you're really aggressive, maybe you're selling at like 100% of the BB line, so it'd be like way up here. Um, or you can be selling closer to the uh, to the simple moving average. And I mean, those are, I'll, I'll do videos on the selling strategies later, but basically this is the buying strategy. You're looking for places where a candle will dip beneath the low bull intra band by 1.5% or whatever percentage that you chose, your bot will start to trail it and then it will buy it as soon as it goes back up by 0.15% and then you're looking to sell and that's your selling strategies. It, it all depends on what your selling strategies are. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions on this, um, you know, let me know. And if you want me to go over the, the selling strategies, I'm happy to do so in another video. So with that, ladies and gents, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.